things you should know about Prince William's wealth. How affluent is the British royal family, you might wonder. The solution is far from easy, royal analyst Richard Fitzwilliams tells Time. One of the problems with the net worth is that it's very, very difficult to calculate. Any member of the royal family's precise net worth is unknown, however estimates from internet sources vary. Prince William, the heir apparent, is estimated by celebrity net worth to be worth $100 million, but according to the Daily Express and other media, his net worth increased to over $1 billion after he inherited his father, King Charles III's £1 billion private estate, the Duchy of Cornwall. Following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, his grandmother, in September 2022. On its website, the Duchy of Cornwall states that it funds the public, charitable, and private activities of the Prince of Wales and his family. Edward III founded the estate in 1337 to give his son and heir, Prince Edward, independence. The portfolio spans at least 20 counties in England and Wales and consists of land, farm tenancies, and commercial properties. In 2023, the estate's latest annual report stated that the assets generated a distributable surplus of £24 million. Although not required, royals have voluntarily paid income tax since 1993, according to Parliament. Prince William and his younger brother, Prince Harry, atop those holdings, inherited property from the Queen Mother, his paternal great-grandmother, and Princess Diana, his mother. The BBC stated that the Queen Mother left her great-grandsons approximately £14 million when she passed away in 2002, with Prince Harry receiving the majority of the money because William would profit financially from becoming king in the future. In accordance with their mother's will, the brothers received $21.3 million after taxes after their mother passed away in 1997. Prince William has made money on his own before as well. He was in the British military from 2006 to 2013, and according to Forbes, he made between $68,000 and $74,000 in his last job in 2011. Following that, he worked for the nonprofit East Anglian Air Ambulance and gave away his $62,000 annual salary, according to Reader's Digest.